Hello everyone. I think we are live. I got a little box there that I have to check. Let's hope all is good. Here we go. It looked like we are live. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. Well, are you ready for a diagonal fold tonight? I am. It's um, every card that I'm going to share tonight got something on it that it's diagonal. So that's why I call it the diagonal fold. So let me hmm, pop this here. Okay, now I can see the, I was not seeing the chat. Okay, now I see it there. I can close there. And I, perfect. Now I can see it. Okay, I was confused a little bit there. Perfect. So I see we got a good group already on. For, if you are new at um, joining me at a live class on YouTube, I got Holly on the other end that take care of all the comments because I cannot stamp and watch the comment and so on. So I got her at the other end that take care of that. If it's something that she don't know, she got a way to communicate with me and then I'm going to answer the question. Or also I read every bit of comment the minute we are done live. So, so welcome. Uh, to the class. It's 729. I like to start right on the dot. So we got one minute. Um, I'm not sure if you saw my post about Paper Pumpkin. They're celebrating their sixth year anniversary. And uh, next month, well, for the month of March, they're adding an extra stamp set. I just got my paper pumpkin today, and this month it was amazing. Plus, they give us a little thin bit for next month. It's going to be card also. People seem to like uh, cards, so I don't know. It's all like plants succulent. And the stamp set, it is a big stamp set. I was like, one's a... Uh, do I have a five card here? So I started something new this month. All my paper subscribers, the one that get paper uh, pumpkin uh, with me, that you can uh, prepay them or you can subscribe month by month. If the paper pumpkin is delivered to you uh, that month and you got it uh, with my link, then uh, around the 5th, I'm going to say around the 5th, that's going to start this month, uh, I join, uh, I build up a group of demonstrator and we're going to share ideas on what to do with your stamp set when you're done your kit so it's not the term alternative kit or alternative project it's uh how to <coughs> excuse me how to use the stamp set on cards so after you're done putting your your kit together what to do with the stamp set well then we're going to have plenty of ideas so that is starting this month. So if you want to subscribe, make sure to visit my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. You can subscribe there. Or if you scroll all the way to last Thursday, I had a post just about Paper Pumpkin. And I decide tomorrow around lunchtime, I'm not sure the time, it's going to be recorded. I'm going to be on Facebook and I will be on YouTube doing an extra card with that. It won't be the card that it's part of the PDF because that we're just going to short snippet of it. But I'm going to do another card to let people know about this awesome thing that I'm doing now. So I think that's going to be uh, awesome. So um, thank you, uh, Joanne. So let's get started. It's 7.32. So let's... Um, I got a few surprises up my sleeve i'm gonna sit up my sleeve because if you're not here you won't hear about it but i'm gonna start i got a pdf with all the instruction supplies list all measurement also in this pdf for this class tonight i got a template for every card so if you struggle where to cut where to score blah 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 
uh, PDF would be an awesome thing. Here is the Ostis code. It's MXQRV6AD. Again, oops, this way. It is MXQRV6AD. That's with an order of $40 before tax and shipping. I will email you the PDF. This deal ends at the end of the month, so February 28th. To get the PDF with an order of $40, you need to enter this OSTIS code. So I know send you the PDF. Or, uh, here's on me. If you order it's over $150, do not, do not enter the OSTIS code. You're going to get my customer appreciation of the month. Plus, you're going to get tonight's PDF. And uh, I'm going to send that. You're going to get the stamping reward. So anything over $150 before the tax and shipping, you get uh, stamping rewards. It's like 10% and it keep on going up. And that it's right away on the spot. It's product of your choice. You can get the hostess set. Even if it's a party in the back, it's a party. And if it's reached that, any type of order, customer order and so on, you get that. And so keep that in mind. So tonight it's $40, but remember, if you crank it up $10 more, uh, uh, $50, you're going to get a celebration to also. And it's something else too. We will talk about it when we go on. I got a bunch of uh, goodies here. Oops, lost my hummingbird. Oh, my granite left. Oops. I think granite don't like it when I do class because I talk too loud. See? Oops. We get biscuit laying down and granite left. They were both sleeping there. So we just get one with us tonight. It just left. Um, so um, I got a bunch of goodies in here. And we're going to have door price, screen price, whatever you call it, after each card. But the how you can get enter in that. You leave a comment and it, Ollie enter everything and she get a thing that picked the winner. I understand that if you do not have a Google account or you're not logging into Google, you cannot leave a comment live though. So that is not me. That's the YouTube, the way that it's set up. So I am sorry. But we're going to have five drawing tonight plus a bonus. So stay tuned. You have to be present to win because when we announce your name, by the time that uh, the class is over, you have to email me at frenchystamps.com. I get the contact right there. So just go on my blog, click contact, and you're going to have to email me your mailing address so then I know where to send the goodies. If you don't contact me tonight, the goodies are not getting sent. So let's get the party starting. So I'm going to flip you down. I'm going to flip you up, and then I'm going to flip you down again. That looked pretty straight here. Okay, so we will start with, I get all the cards here. Let's give us some space here. Uh, right now, this one takes more space, so we're going to start with this one. This, uh, the paper that I'm using, it's the butterfly paper. You know what? Let me see if I can get that a little bit higher here. Okay. A little bit more space here. Here we go. Um... So you're going to start with a piece of card, not cardstock, this is designer series paper, and this is the paper from um, Botanical uh, Butterfly that is part of a celebration. So it's five and a half by uh, 12. We're going to score at two. We're going to score at four. We're going to score at eight. And then we're going to score at uh, 10. Okay, now that we get our score done, now you're going to, it's hard to see on one side, so I'm going to go on the side that I don't have a hard time to see. 
we're going to put our tip here. I have to go diagonal, so no, I have to go this way because I need to go at, let me just reinforce this here so I can see where this was. You're going to take your tip here, that uh, the score line, you're going to keep that in the groove, and you're going to put this at two. You know what? No, no, let's back up the bus. Here, let's mark this at two. So two and two. This is going to be easier. Okay, so I'm going to do a little mark at two. And a little mark at two. And then we're going to cut that from the diagonal, uh, not diagonal, we're going diagonal, but from our first score there, you want to put that right in the groove where it cut and then your mark. Here we go. And cut. So now we get this. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put your mark. Can I see my mark? Yep, it's right there, I think. I think, right? Sometimes you want to go on the other side because it's easier. You know what? We're going to make that easier. There, and then let's measure at two again. Oops. It was too hard to see with the pattern, so here we go. So now it's going to be easier for me. So I marked where my score was, and I marked the two there. So then you can see much, much easier. So sometimes you're going to have to flip the paper. It doesn't matter which side you're going to cut. You're going to cut from the first score to two, as long as you go at both ends at the same place. So you don't do one at the top and one at the bottom. It would make a different card. That's it, a different look. See, now you get this here. Now we're going to remove this. And this is no stamping on this at all. So now we're going to go try to feel where my score was. Okay, I need bone folder. And fold. See, it matched perfect in the middle, even if you, I mean, perfect match. So just reinforce your score. Now we're going to take a piece of cardstock that measure five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to glue this in the back of it. We're going to glue that right here. Stand up to stay on top of the camera here. Try to line that up. And every card that I'm sharing tonight all fit in a regular envelope. It's no offside or whatever. Now those points here, I hope you didn't toss them in the trash. You're going to take the point to the point and fold this in two. Reinforce this point to point. And here we go. Where did I get the great paper? I think I see Kathy's asking that. That, as a demonstrator, we can get this great paper. It was uh, from uh, on stage. They had extra one. So that's where that I got that. So talking about being a demonstrator, you all are welcome to join my team. And during celebration, it's no better time. I mean, it's always good. Don't get me wrong. It is always good to join my team, but right now, you choose $175 of product and you only pay $99 plus a tax. It's going to ship to you for free. Now, I put that in my groove. Fold this. Now, again, so this time you put the glue on the butterfly. 
So yes, visit my blog right there at the top. It's a question and answer to join my uh, team. Check that out. It's worth checking it out for $175. I mean, for $99 and you get $175, you cannot go wrong with that. Et voila, how simple this was. Now inside, I got a piece that, oops, that is too big. So we're gonna cut this up. Uh, we, oops, we need that at five by three and three quarter. So I got a feeling that I cut my white the wrong size, yeah. My uh, white's gonna be three and a half by uh, four and three quarter. Here we go. Oops, oops, don't get stuck there. And put that right there. Now we're going to put that inside. So you get your place for your greeting. And Ollie, if you want to pick a winner, we're done our first card almost. And I'm going to announce the first winner. Here we go. How simple this was. Now, this one I embossed, this is a circle I embossed with a softly uh, falling. And when you're going to put your circle there, you want to make sure you just put half of uh, adhesive on the circle, because if not, it's going to shut your card and you won't be able to open it up. So the way that I like to put it up, it's come here, keep it open, go in the back, make sure I didn't have glue, and in this case, I did. So your lovely finger come in handy for that, or if you get the, the eraser, it comes lovely too. A lot of time my finger for this here, going to do the trick, et voila, voila. Now this here, I use, this is the same pack of paper from uh, the Botanical uh, Butterfly, and um, I use this big print, and I cut a butterfly, and I didn't cut it all off just because it's no punch for the big butterfly. For the little butterfly and the medium butterfly, it is a punch. The punch is back order till like April. So you can get the paper now and when April come, get the punch. But this one here, this big one, it's no punch or no framelit. So a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I cannot cut that. You bet you can cut that. Remember, you are not really moving the scissors. The scissors are meant to open and close. And what you do is just move the paper and not really the scissors. The scissors, again, they open and close. Somebody had asked me at, oh, not long ago, a week ago or so, how, how many times are you gonna repeat that in all your video? Well, I always get new people, so if it's the 500th time you hear it, sweet, I bet you know how to do it now. If not, remember, we always get some virgin, I mean, stamping virgin, I'm sorry. <laughs> some people that never done this before, I'm sorry I used that word, that's a word that we used to use in class. Well, it's true. So... <laughs> Now I'm going to laugh all night. Oh my goodness, I opened a can of worm. Okay, so now we're going to put our lovely paper. So this one was in bashful blue, okay? Not bashful blue. We don't even have bashful blue anymore. Ollie, I bet, is laughing because we were talking the other day and she said, friends, you know we don't have no bashful blue? It's balmy blue, balmy blue. So this one, it's in balmy blue and this one, it's Island Heather. See how pretty that is? One more thing. See this one, my butterfly, it's curling a little bit. So what you can do is take this, your bone folder, and curl those wing a bit. Yes, they're going to go flat a little bit when you mail them, but you're going to be surprised. They're still going to be fluffy a little bit. Now, if you want to crank it up a notch, you can take the wink of Stella, and add some like here and there. I wouldn't cover the whole butterfly, 
But in the wings here, I would add a bit of Wink of Stella. This one I curled a little bit too much. It was going fast. And I bet, see, I'm not really coloring. I'm just slobbering there. I bet you cannot see in the video, but trust me, it is very, very lovely. So here, oops, here it is, how simple this was. So now we're going to check for, and the first prize, and I'm going to have to have post-it note, though, to mark on it. Let's, okay, when you email me, you're going to see you were the first prize, or I'm going to put the name. The first prize, it's Petal Pear. And the winner go to Barbara, Barbara Garza, Garza, Garza. I think that's right. Remember, if you're not in the U.S., then I'm going to send you a card. I cannot send product outside the U.S., but um, if it happens you're not in the U.S., I'm going to send you a card. So this is the first price. It is two embossing folder called Petal Pear. Congratulations, Barbara. Let's roll on. Okay, next one is going to be the pocket. Well, I think it's going to be the pocket. Where is the pocket? Okay, I have to make sure I get the right thing. This is from the same uh, paper. It's the palette. Um, oh, I cannot think of the name right now. Uh, it's all in the PDF, I know, but uh, promenade, 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 the paper. And I decide we done in this print. Now we're going to do in this print here. So. And I thought I had my cheat sheet, and I don't. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to find my cheat sheet. Okay, so for this one here, we get two pockets. So we got the, the pocket in the back. This is the big one here. We're going to have to uh, have our measurement here. And this side going to be easier to measure. So let me, I'm looking for my uh, device to write. Here we go. So this one here, it's five and a, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to mark on this side here, we're going to mark that at three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. I'm going to mark that there. And then at one and a quarter on the other side, one and a quarter. And then we're going to cut that, uh, not cut, score. We're going to score that diagonal. Now we're going to move that one inch. So your score line, move that to one inch and cut. I could have done without the cutting, but it was too bulky and so on. So I'm cutting it diagonal at one inch. That don't seem right. Sorry, I have to go down from there to there. Here we go. My pocket would have been too small. Here we go. One inch. Now we're going to take this, fold this down. Voila. Now what you're going to do, flip this in the back. But always from the back. And voila, now you know it's fitting perfectly. So we get this one done. 
Now we're going to do the other one. Again, I'm going to do the back of it. This one is five and a half by three and a quarter. We're going to go at two and a quarter, uh, two and three quarter, two and three quarter. And I'm, more, I'm going to mark that right there. It's right in the groove when you mark from your board. And then you're going to go at one and a half. And then we're going to score that. So your point to your point. And you're going to score. Now you're going to take this and you're going to flip this. And then see, too long, too long, no problem. Turn that around. Always cut from the back, always cut from the back, because then you get a guide. If not, it's too easy to cut very wrong. Et voila, we got our two pockets. Now, I got a piece of two by two that we're going to put inside. I ran out of my long scissors. We're going to cut this diagonal. You can cut that on your board, or you can whip it like this with scissors, or you can put it on your board, cut it diagonal. Now I get two um, pieces. I think they're one by one. Uh, maybe they're bigger than that. No, one by one. And again, all measurements going to be on my um, in the PDF. So we get two there, and then we get two here. So we get all that. Now I got a. A uh, regular size uh, card here, a uh, whisper white, and inside we're going to put our triangle. So I put one at the bottom, and then another one here. And by the way, I'm not snoring. You see me, I'm working. It's Mr. Biscuit there. Okay, and then I had the pocket. I saw that. And that, I stamped that. It, uh, it's the butterfly uh, stamp set. Our friendship, is it one big thing? It is. It's a million little thing. I absolutely love this reading. Now, what you're going to do... It's take, you know what, we're going to use Tombow for this. Really, Tombow, it's much friendlier. So I'm going to put my, uh, add my glue there, add a little corner here. So you see, it, oh, I was not right on, so I was able to move it. I want to make sure I'm using the matching one, yeah. And then I'm going to put another one at the bottom here. So you see, it's just make nice little pocket. It's like those photo pocket there. So we get that. Now we get the other one. And this one here, we're going to put it on the other side. We're going to crisscross them. So, so far, so good, my friend. Are you guys uh, liking what you're seeing so far? Oops, see, I'm cockeyed here. Let me fix that. I was trying to read comments. See, that's why I cannot read comment and work at the same time, because I'm getting this here. Let's fix this here. And you know what I'm going to say, right? If it's too bad, if it's very bad, then I'm going to send it to my in-law. No, I'm joking. Here we go. Oh, little tap here. And I get some sticky on top here. There we go. Now we're going to put our uh, card together. This is the inside. So very important. So... Oh, did I uh, do on, oh, I did the same on both sides. Well, we're going to, no. We're going to have to fix that here. Yep, yep, yep. So this one, 
go in the back should have went this way. Should have went this way, should have went this way. But we're fixing it. Here we go. That's good. And this one go this way. Okay. So here, the trick to this, you just want to put adhesive on the side, not the top. And, oh, you know what? I need my, uh, my silicone mat here. You don't want to put any at the top, because then if you put it at the top, then you don't have no more pocket. You get, I don't know, you get nothing, right? You get a decoration, which would call a full pocket. Put that right here. I should have used Tumble, but I thought to go faster. Okay, now where's my Tumble? We're going to add Tumble a little bit here, just to keep the flap down. And I got a bit of glue here. Here we go. Now this one here, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna use Tombow just because that I don't want to screw it up. Okay, so just on the side, bottom, and on the side. Nothing at the top, nothing where you see the diet, no. That should be easy to remember. Put it right on top of the other one. Okay, and then we need um, it's right here. I got scrap paper here. Here we go. We need, I think it's uh, one inch. We need three one inch circle. One, two, and three. And I thought I already had cut some, and I didn't, but that's okay. We're going to whip that quick. So you're going to use, uh, I think I used Flirty Flamingo on both. I'm going to start with the dark one in the blends. And when I see the blends, I do very little. See the dark there? And then I'm going to come with the light over here. That is it. And then, yes, I did my Wink of Stella. And I add my Wink of Stella all over. This one can use more. Oh, got it. And then that is a fussy cut. So let me cut that quick. While I cut that, Ollie, if you want to send me a winner. I thought I had cut them and I have just colored them. Because I prepare my class like almost three weeks in advance. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, move up. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, move up. You know what? We're going to move this up. One second. Okay, now that should help a lot. Here we go. Yeah, now I should be on. If I'm not on, Ollie, you let me know. What I'm seeing here, it's on, but you guys see a different screen than me. So I'm just cutting this butterfly. I won't cut the three of them. You're going to get the jig of it. So I'm going to cut one. I say I won't cut three. Watch that. I know I won't be able to stand it. And then that, it's not even with glue dot, I mean with a dimensional, I just use glue dots. Oops, first we need our, so the way that I like to do this, I always start at one end, then go at the other end, and then you go in the center. Just like any time I put embellishment and so on. Here we go. So am I still good on the view there? I think so. Here we go. 
Okay, Ollie, if you want to send me another winner, this card, I just have to do the uh, slide the insert, and then we're ready to move to the next one. Here, I told you I wouldn't be able to stand it, but doing the all. I was planning to cut this in advance, but I didn't. I mean, at least one. Uh, just one life, I mean. Yes, much better. Good. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't see what you guys seeing, and then I keep on pushing towards me or up or vice versa. I am sorry. And then the butterfly this way, and then one going the other way. Uh, I don't want them going all in the same direction. Here we go. Up. So it's coming down. Now, uh, it's a million little thing go in the back pocket. Did you see I didn't slide that right away because I wanted to make sure this was dry. And then our friendship in the front pocket. So this one lower, this one higher. Et voila. And now we got our lovely little card. Oh, this one I can add a bit of, a little bit of glue in the corner there. Here we go. You don't want that to move, right? So here we go, my friends. So now this is the same paper, just a different print. That's it. Okay. Now for the price... This time, it's going to be a um, chamois. I thought I grabbed more of this. Okay. The chamois going to go to... Okay. The next chamois go to Vicky Lower. Lower, Lower, L-O-U-E-R. And Vicky, number two, Shami. Congratulations, Vicky. And I'm sure Ollie going to put the name there also. So here we are. We got two projects, two door price. Okay, next one. A little bit more complicated here. My friend, I put it that side, and this time, let's move that, here we go. My friend, you see, if I want to put my card standing up, well, my friend, it's upside down. So, we will reverse our friend, going to go the other way. It's still going to get locked this way, but instead of looking at it this way, it's going to be this way. So, let's get started. And... If you're wondering where that friend come from, that's from, let me grab it. That's from this a big, a big set. It's well, uh, well written um, framelits. And it got all those words and all those words. It's the most expensive bundle in the catalog. How would you like to win the bundle? Not this one here. I got a new bundle right here. So, what's the scoop to get a chance to win this big bundle? And like I said, this is the most expensive bundle in this catalog, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So, you get the stamp set. The stamp set, you get... 51 stamps. Yes, you heard me correctly. 51 stamps. And the framelets, uh, the tin, yeah, framelets, you get 24 die. So the scoop is, and it's such a big uh, stamp set that you get two case. The scoop is if you place an order of $40 or more, uh, wait a minute, where's my pepper? A 
Okay. So with $40, you already get the PDF. Now, if the order, you're going to get five entry for every $50. So if your order is $100, you're going to get 10 entry. If your order is $150, you're going to get 15 entry. It's no limit. So for every $50, you're going to get five entry. You can leave a comment on my blog, on my blog. The comment tonight, that won't count because it stayed there, whatever. You're going to go on my blog at frenchystamps.com on the post of today. So February 19, if you leave a comment, you will have one entry. And again, all order of $50, for every $50 before tax and shipping, you're getting five entry. So with $50 order, you would get five and three, you would get the PDF, plus you would get a celebration. So that sweet little deal of mine and February 28th. So any order that you place starting today. So I know some of you already placed your order today. I already put your ticket in. And so well, I put it, it's in uh, Excel that I put it, and I go how many entry it is, and then I go generate number winner, and then I say one through, let's say, uh, 58, and it pick a number, and I go which line it is there, and that's the name that's the winner. So that, and the 28, and same, then the hostess code here, and the 28. So here we go. Here we go. Somebody don't like the butterfly. I am in love with those butterfly. Very, very much so. Very much so. Here we go. Okay, so let's get started with that. Okay, so you got a piece of, um, okay, I want to share first, well, let's move that aside, one minute, one minute, okay, here is a piece of um, regular cardstock that measure five and a half by eight and a half, okay, we're going to cut, so it's, it's going to have to be the opening at the top, okay, so then we won't get mixed. So the opening is at the top. Now this portion here, this one, we're going to measure two inch from the bottom. So let me measure two inch and we're going to do a little mark. And then we're going to go from this point. So remember, this is the opening, okay? This point to your two inch, you're going to cut that diagonal. Like this. I'm still in the camera there. Let's move a little bit more here. Okay, so the point go there. Your two more two inch mark, it's right there. And really it should touch the two more uh, inch mark there pretty much. Okay, now we're gonna cut that diet no. Voila. So now we get this. I try over and over to score this. And for some reason, if I was marking it at two, it was off a bit. So the best thing I, I like to do is put it right here. My point where the sick, my thing there and over there. Then I open this up. Then score it. But sometimes you move a little bit and so on so this is much better now close this again and then close this now keep this close like this I'm gonna need that again but and now reinforce this reinforce the trick to any type of different fold or box and that it's really to reinforce voila now what you're gonna do it's take your piece of uh, this one measure five and a quarter by four 
And what I like to do, it's put it right here, right in the center. And then I'm going to go right here. Oops. Because again, you want it to match perfectly. Because sometimes if you move your paper a little bit, then it don't work correctly. And then I'm going to mark that right here. And then to the point, I'm going to bring this to my paper cutter, put that there, put my point there, and we're going to cut. You can mark again. It's about two inch. Let me show you. See? See? It's exactly the two inch, but for some reason, every time I was doing it, I was off a bit. So this way, I thought it was working better for me, but it's still the two inch. You're going to take those two pieces, and then we're going to start building our card. So this here should go right here. See? It matched perfectly fine. Cannot have a better match than that. So we're going to glue that here. I got my little uh, piece there I should have when you mark it I forgot here you want a pencil I don't know what I was thinking but I think I got the eraser to take care of that okay where is my uh, sand eraser If you're wondering what kind of eraser, it's a sand rubber eraser mono. It's by Tombow, and I get mine on um, Amazon. So it's sand and rubber eraser. One side it's soft, one side it's a sand. And I absolutely love that. It's not good if you get a big smear of ink, but little ink, yes. And that go down. So this one here, going to get flipped. See? Perfect match again. So now we're going to put our glue on this. You want to make sure you get the corners because that's where, you know, people pull or so on. So those little tip there, you want to make sure you get the glue there. See? It is a perfect match. Oh, I got glue on my hand. That's why sometimes tomboy put too much on the side and then it poop on the side and then you get uh, ink on, uh, not ink, but uh, on you. I'm going to erase it after. And if you notice, I already done all this with the Wink of Stella. The only thing that I did, it's all the flower. And again, I know you don't see really that on the camera, but trust me, it adds so much to this card. Now we're going to take this, flip this this way. Now this one here, again, is going to get cut at 2 inch. Or um, again, it's way better off if I do this. I'm going to put that right here. Yeah. Then we're going to cut that diagonal. There we go. And it's going to go here. Lovely fit. And this is going to go here. Lovely fit. And that I stamp. Let me grab that stamp set because I didn't grab any stamp set. I forgot I was doing a bit of stamping. And uh, that's the rose. 
that is forever lovely and that is stamped with lovely lipstick and one thing that i want to mention you want to make it on your uh on your card first because i stamp mine without thinking and i stamp mine on the wrong side so to fit there i had to flip it while i had lost my flower so that's why i get one at the bottom there so if you want one at the bottom just cut another one just like this for the top that was a mistake okay but here we go i got the lovely lipstick here now i know that it's on the correct side and uh, or maybe you don't want to put any at the top there so i just stamp this let's remove this oh my goodness that is hilarious it's not the first time that i've done that absolutely not hmm. well let, let's do miracle here i'm gonna put that right back on top that look horrible but we still gonna use it for tonight i could cut another one maybe it wanted me to cut another one right and then i got the little leaves that i use it's from the same set and i use min macaron and like this and here i did three of them this time it's going to stamp correctly one and stamp again and then again here oops i should have my um i should have my foam under there we go and then our little leaves Photopolymer, it's much friendlier if you put your phone under. Here we go. Now we're ready to assemble. That cracked me up upside down stamp. Okay, so we're going to put that right here. And this time, though, it's going to go this way. I have to remember that. So maybe I don't want this. Maybe I want that there. Yeah, you know what? I'm not doing the flap there because we're flipping the card. So you know what? That's why I did that wrong. Here we go. My goodness. Go with the flow on live absolutely it's no right and wrong when it comes to stamping don't stress over a little a mistake and so on you just go with it that's it it's paper and not only paper it's full of love it's so much love when you make a homemade card now i'm going to put that right at the top because that's going to be the top of our card. I'm going to whip that right here. And that's the flap. The flap, we won't put nothing there. And this is going to come right here. And that I already did the wink of Stella. I see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Voila. This, whoops, this way, this way. Now, when you're gonna put your little embellishment that's it's the floral romance seal i it's already adhesive in the back but i use dimensional and you're going to understand why i use dimensional well i had dimensional no here right here i don't find this here i had the little one i wanted a bigger one here we go so I'm going to put the dimensional there. And you're going to understand in a minute why. Why, why? So you want to put it high enough so you're just going to slide it a little bit. And when you peel those little backer, that's for the, the one that has the, the vacuum. Put that right there. 
So now I get this there. Now our friends, I said, let's, oh, let's wait with the friends there. So what I done, I cut uh, one in uh, lipstick and one in white. And I put that on the adhesive sheet. And I'm a strong, strong believer that with all any type of little cutout or little words, the adhesive sheet going to save so much frustration. I'm going to put the white first. One thing, though, um, I didn't save the little uh, dot for the eye. So we're going to have to make our own dots. So I'm going to put that there. Let me uh, straight that up a bit. Now I'm going to use, so that's the white first. Now I'm going to use the lovely lipstick. And we're going to put it off a little bit to the left. So now I think you can see it give a nice shadow. So not only a shadow, but it give a lot of depth. So now I'm going to use a little pearl and because the top is red, we're going to use the lovely lipstick, the, yeah, this one. And with our, this is, I add this in the video. I don't think this part it's in the uh, instruction. Because I had just done a dot with marker, but this is red there. So, oh my gosh, this is going to be cute. Et voila. That is it. So, Ollie, time for another winner. So now, you see this one. It, so, you just twist this a little bit under and this one. So, you see the difference. Maybe this side will look better. It's just that a lot of the time, we want to put... Uh, our card display, you know, on an easel. Well, this then stand up, see, very nice. And this one, well, if you want to stamp it up, well, we got some friends that look at us upside down or they're, they're the funny one that I think they're goof around all the time. So you can keep them upside down. They're on the monkey bar there. That's it. They're just on the monkey bar. So if somebody say your card is upside down, say no. It's a um, monkey bar. Okay, the next one, I, I was doing some cleaning and I find another of this and this was much popular. So this is a case, whatever, a stamp case. And voila, you get the notepad there and you get a pen there. So the next winner, that is number three. Number three, number three. And let's see when you shove this, you see how I just bow it a little bit, turn it down so it stay close. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, the next winner is the next winner is Andrea Lewis. Andrea Lewis. You are the winner of the notepad with the case. So you all make sure you email me after the live is done. Oh, by the way, everybody that went to, I forgot to, uh, this is all in the box. You're all going to get a lovely, voila, it's a pen. And also it got the stylus here. That's for your phone or iPad. But then to turn the pen, you just twist. This won't work because it's the stylus. Somebody said, you send me a pen and it's no pen. I punch and punch on it and it's not working. This is not to push the pen. This is the stylus, like your phone or your iPad. You just twist for the pen, okay? You're all going to get one of that in with your booty. I tell you, it was full of surprise tonight. Okay, the next one, if you close your eyes, you will miss it. That's how quick it is. This one, I'm going to give you measurement, but really you do not need no measurement for this. Absolutely not. So first thing we're going to do is... Um, 
Okay, lovely lipstick. Lovely lipstick was the choice. Put it that way. Uh, we need pineapple punch, and that's a designer syrup paper. It's Bloom by Bloom in the Occasion catalog. I need a scrappy paper. Okay, we're using a whole uh, paper here. And um, the color doily don't come in colors, so we will, uh, we're going to flip it the other way. You can use your ink pad if you drag. Be careful because some of it is rough a bit, or you can just uh, tap it a bit. I just be very careful. You can use a sponge too. Um, the sponge takes way longer time, and not only that it take time, but uh, be very careful when you uh, do a sponge not to go hard where it's the delicate part. So now we get the color we wanted. So it's just coming four colors, but it, you turn it around and you get every color you get the ink for. So um, this year, we're going to cut at uh, two and three quarters. So I'm starting with a piece four and three quarter by three and three quarter. Now I'm going to put this at um, two and then at three quarter. So you see one point at two, one point at three quarter. But that, like I said, you don't even need measurement. You can cut just boom, boom, bang, it's done. You're gonna cut this, this is done. Now you're gonna go at the bottom and we're gonna reverse that. So um, the bottom, we're gonna go at, um, what did I do the bottom? Two and three quarter and three and a half. So three and a half. Oops. Wait a minute here. Three and a half. What was the discount? Three and a half. Okay, three and a half. Your point that you already cut at three and a half. And then the other one at two and three quarters. Oh, I cut this one differently. Now that's right. Okay, and my bottom, it is two and a half, one second. So that goes here, two and three quarter. And See, now I'm even uh, three and a half. One minute. One minute. Two and one and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Two and one and a quarter. But that's the same way. I want this way. One and a quarter and then two. One and a quarter and then two. Go this way. Et voilà. So you see, really, you don't need no measurement for that. You can cut it any way you want. Now, this piece here, measure five by four. And that's my center. That's my bottom. And this is my top. So I like to do top, bottom, and then center. So really, you're going to do your, uh, uh, it's five and a quarter, five and a quarter by four. So you're going to do the length because we get three panel, half inch smaller, and the width a quarter inch uh, smaller or bigger. So the, the background, let me back the bus here. The background, because we just got one on each side, I mean, a strip on each side so you're going to go a quarter bigger so whatever the top is you're going to go a quarter big bigger so this was three and three quarters so this is four now the length of it it was 
uh, four and three quarter, you want to add inch bigger because we get two extra, we get the top, the bottom, and we get the center. So you want half inch. So that's going to bring us to five and a quarter. It depends on many panels. So if you get more panel, then you're going to need more uh, length because you want to have that gap. Okay, that look equally. So now I'm going to come here and see. Now I get my there and there. So that's why you get the top bottom. So that's a quarter inch. Right here, it's another quarter inch that make half inch. Or if you challenge it, Matt, just follow my instruction in the PDF, the measurement there. And then you can cut all different shapes. As long as you get just two cuts, then you're good. Okay, we're going to leave that there. Let me show you something else. Uh, okay, now let me do another one here. So I need the width, I need three and three quarter. And then the length, I need um, oh, five and a quarter, not enough. One second, get more paper. Okay, I'm going to do five, well, three and three quarter, I said, three and three quarter, five, four and three quarter. I was right earlier. Here we go. Okay, let me take a pineapple uh, punch. So got, you guys are going to be able to see the difference here. So this is going to be five and a quarter by four. Okay, without any measurement now, as long as you know. So this is half inch shorter and half a quarter inch less on the side. So this is four by five and a quarter. This is three and three quarter by four four and three quarter. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to cut. I'm going to reverse this this way and then cut. See, I got three P's without no measurement. We're going to have the same effect. This at the top, this in the center, the bottom. Remove this. And then I'm going to put this at the top. So that's what I'm saying. This technique here, really, you don't even have to know where to cut. You just go with the flow and call it good. As long as you know which size piece to start with. Yes, that's uh, Bloom by Bloom uh, DSP. Well, Bloom by Bloom, it's the... The designer paper, I mean the, the stamp set, yeah, Happiness Bloom. I say Bloom by Bloom, that's the the whole uh, thing here, Bloom by Bloom, the stamp set, Happiness Bloom. And again, all the supplies, color, everything, it's in the PDF. Oh, that was not the one we wanted to do tonight. Oh, that's okay, it doesn't matter whichever it is, right? But see... Without measurement, it's almost the same thing. Is that fun? I think it's a fun part. Very much fun. And those color, I know you guys are going to say, I fell off my chair using those bright color. This paper is just screaming party. I just, I love this paper. That's my favorite paper in that. Now, I got, um, whatever it's called there, a circle. We're going to put that in the back. Now, I know I pre-cut, okay, this go in there. Here we go. Now, I got this, and this is all bloom by bloom. And the happy work, I'm not sure. Maybe that's another set. Oh, that's too big. I'm going to go with one and three quarter for this one, maybe. 
And I think that's even too big. Yeah, I need smaller. Okay, we're going to keep on going till I get the size that I want. Here we go. Voila. And this is going to go inside my car. And that I already pre-stamped. It's all lovely lipless lipstick and pineapple uh, touch. And then we're going to take this. And you're going to say, oh my goodness, oh, hey, I said that was for the one that was vacuuming, not for my cards. Okay, all it's time to send me another winner, because this card is about to finish. And then I'm going to put that right in the middle of this. See, that's why I was not afraid about this, because this is going to go at the top. And the other one, I did uh, sponge it around them. Here we go. Here we go. And see? Small, small, bigger. Doesn't matter which way. They all work. Very, very festive. Okay, so now we're on four. And the fourth one, it is a bone holder. It's a voila bone folder, and the winner is Crafty Lady Lisa. Crafty Lady Lisa. Number four, bone folder. Congratulations, Crafty Lady. Here we go. Now, Last but not least, it is our purse. Okay. The, what you may call it, it's sold out, right? The foil in the celebration. So that it's a friendly reminder here. If it's anything you want in celebration, get it while you can. Because they won't, it's safe till March 31st or while supplies last, whichever come first. So we don't have the foil paper anymore. So I decide we're gonna do it in the silver. So I was all ready, but I had to recut uh, in the silver. So I emboss this just straight up with the tufted embossing folder. Now for the panel, I mean the panel, the flap up front. Then I try a few things and this is what I came up the easiest. So what you're going to do, uh, this, the back, it's going to be in the black. It's five and a quarter by two and a quarter. And you're going to, Put that at one. You're going to put your point at one. This is not measure. It's right on the board. So put that at one. So your point go there in the groove and at one. And you're going to close this and cut. Voila. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you're going in, not out. So there and at one. Close this and cut. Now we got our flap that I call. Now for the top, I try and I try and I try. Well, this is the best that I could do. The top here is going to be five by two and a quarter. We're going to do the same thing here and one. And then flip this around. And then add one and in the group. I try to have a uh, one eighth of an inch smaller at the top, and my diagonal were not matching at all. You know, if I was starting with like to have a border at the top, like I want on the other one, it it was not matching. So what I done, because we have to lift it up, right? We want one eighth of an inch removed. So really, you just put it at the edge of the groove there. 
Put that right there, straight there. Keep that close and then remove that. That was the only way that this chick could um, have it with a very good match. Everything else was not matching correctly to me. Not at all. And now you see how stinking perfect it is. So that was the best way that I came up with. I try, I mean, I would remove one eighth of an inch there, remove one eighth to go diagonal. It was not working. So I had to start with the same width in both pieces and then trim after. Now we're going to close, uh, close this. We're going to glue this because I got two layers and I didn't want to embossing just the silver that was changing my dimension a little bit when I uh, emboss it. So what I done, I'm taking some, oh, it's empty this way, but I get a big spritz here. Um, I'm missing the back of this here. I'm gonna go off camera though. So you see, I just missed that a bit. You're gonna put that in your folder here. Like line that up as best as I can. Close this, oops. Close this and I'm gonna emboss this. Okay, when, when I emboss this in the big shot, because it's uh, the dynamo, dy, dynamic uh, folder, you just want the, uh, the big platform, no adapter. So if you get the old one, you want every tab open and just one clear plate with your um, embossing folder. That's it. Open this up and see how deep it is. Okay, now we're gonna build this. Now, the way that I like to uh, build it, I'm sure it's more than one way we can do it, but um, we're gonna put this in, this one here, I'm looking for my tape. And this is open this way. Because I thought, well, I'm going to put it that it opened this way, right? It would have been fun. Well, my purse was not standing up neither. And then I didn't want to put the uh, handle there. It was, two handle was bulky to pass through here, whatever. So I didn't like the way it was fitting, not opening at the top. I thought the purse shouldn't have opened under. So I decided to open it on the side and it still should open at the top. Just personal choice. You can do it whichever turn you're fancy. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now I got that here. Now I'm going to use the little punch. And talking about the 116 punch, or yeah. Uh, that one, it's only available while supplies last. Our manufacturer won't make it anymore. So now, um, me, I, this one I did measure though. Just because uh, that was one, I wanted one in one. So I'm going to do a mark here, mark at four, and a mark at one. So then I know where to uh, punch this. Here we go. Now um, we're going to use the black uh, shimmery ribbon. And that you don't want to tie a knot. If you tie a knot, it makes too much of a bulky uh, thing and then your, pearl, your purse don't go flat. We're going to pull this. Okay, Biscuit, are you going to town? I don't know if you guys can hear any snore. It just makes me laugh. That dog can snore worse than a man, I think. I know some women snore too. I'm sorry, man. If any uh, lovely man are alive, I know that woman snore too. It's not just a men thing. 
Absolutely not. Yes, I'm going to down with the glue because I don't want the flap to open. And I want it flat. Flat. Twisting around here. Twist, baby, twist. You want to make sure that you twist it on the right side before you glue. Hmm. Here we go. Now I'm on the right side. Now we're going to come here and put that right there. Okay, now we're going to go in the back, and the parties keep on going. This is a card that it's as pretty in the front than in the back, okay? Now this one, we're not punching old with our ribbon. We're just going to put, and where's my other piece of ribbon? I have two pieces. Trust me, I have two pieces. Here it is. Now I can match it. This one here. Okay, put that right here. Turn it, turn it, turn it. So now I'm oops, want to make sure that it's equally. Here we go. Now I'm gonna risk it skip skip secure that. My goodness. Now we're gonna put this in the back. And now I got um, the Daisy Daisy Punch here. We're going to punch this. Oh, first we have to do the inside because it's going to be too hard to do with a, a big uh, button there. Oops, I want to make sure this stay down here. I think I got a little bit, a little bit, need a bit of glue in the corner here. Here we go. Okay, so the inside, we we got um, this here. We're going to do for a gift card, see? So we're going to cut, it's three-quarter if I remember. Yes, three-quarter. And then one and three-quarter. Okay, so what you're going to do is take one of the five and a quarter by four. You're going to put that at one and a quarter. On the line of one and a uh, quarter, you're going to bring this at three quarter of an inch. And then you're going to go all the way to four and a half. Et voila. That is it. Now you're going to take this. This at the top, you can put plenty of glue. You can put glue at the side, at the side. The bottom here, just a very fine tip. Then you're gonna glue that right here in the, that's gonna be to the loser side, no, the left side. Now you're gonna, I embossed two little pieces. It's three quarter, I wanna say three, yeah, three quarter by five and a quarter. Hello, Mr. Granite. Mr. Granite decided to come and see us. I think we need to go potty. You need to go potty? But guess what? We're going to wait. I'm going to put that right there. So this is a card that is as pretty inside, outside, back, front, name it. It is pretty. Name it. Yeah. So I didn't put no greeting because I didn't. I think it would be good for a bride. It would be good for a BFF birthday. Hey, talking about birthday, can you all sing with me? I cannot sing. So, you guys sing happy birthday to Ollie. It was her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Come on, singing with me all together. I cannot sing, my goodness. But you guys sing, though. And then we're going to take our 
gift card. It's like right there. See? It's no extra nothing. And then that close. Okay. Now we're going to take, a, we got a daisy and a basic black and a daisy and a foil. And this one, it's silver. We're going to curl a little bit. Curl, baby curl. Okay, now we're going to take a glue dot. The foil is going to be at the top just because the foil is there. I want the black, foil, black, whatever. Going to take this. We're going to crisscross them over layer like this. Now, this one, I put the gem and I colored the gem with blushing bright. This time, I will not color the gem. And when I say color the gem, I use my um, blends. I'm going to share with you how I did color them. Oops, this one. When you're going to color um, your uh, with your blends, you will do it at your own risk. Because those tips are very fragile, and this is rough. So what I do, it's the side of it. See? I just go on the side. See, boom. So do it at your own risk. I don't want to hear. Frenchie said we can use that a color or a gem with that. Yeah, you can, but you cannot press R because you're gonna damage your tip. So be very, very careful. Now you, we're gonna put that right here. Right in the center. Now I'm gonna. Oh, one minute. We need um, three quarter. I think. Let's try three quarter. I think it is three quarter. And then I'm gonna use another glue dot. So when you place your order, I think I use quite a bit of glue dots tonight. So don't forget glue dots on your order tonight. Then I'm gonna take the big gem. And I'm not coloring it because I think that looks silver the way it is. We got them in the gold and in uh, the see gold and it's kind of silver or clear. Love those gems. Et voila. All right, we need another winner. And here it is. How cute is that purse? Don't you think that would make a lovely gift for anything? It is beautiful in silver, too. You could do it in the gold, silver, and I got a bit of blue here that I don't want. Here we go. Et voila. So this was our purse. Is that pretty? I think it's very pretty. This was our, I'm going to call that our free and uh, sideways, whatever that note. This is our flat diagonal. So let's. And this is our pocket diagonal. And this is the gated diagonal. How about that? Okay, we got another winner. And the next winner, it is for. Uh, a refill of Paper Pumpkin Bliss Full Bloom. You can use any stamp set. That is a lovely, lovely paper pumpkin. And the next winner, it's Fran Smith. Number five. Number five. Fran Smith. Here we go. So now, don't forget... To claim your prize, you have to email me soon. We're done here. And then to get enter in the well said, and every order fifty for every $50, you get five and three, or go also on my blog. Even if you place an order, you can go on my blog, and it's just one entry per person. So if you want to leave 50 common, you're still just going to get one entry there, okay? And it's the blog post of today. February 19. Here we go. So, how was the class? I think those diagonal uh, fold was awesome. 
Now we're going to have a class in March. I didn't pick the date yet. I'm looking at uh, dates. We got, Soon that I pick it up and I design the class, I'm going to start advertising it. But I want to have a Saturday morning. I like to rotate my YouTube big, I call it the big class. I like to rotate it a night class during the week. Usually it's a Tuesday, a Wednesday or a Thursday. And then sometime was on a Friday night. We did one or twice, I think, on Friday night. But this, and then I like to rotate it with Saturday morning. So the next one should be a Saturday morning. And that should be around the mid-March. Uh, I have to get with Olive, see what her schedule uh, say and mine. I'm looking right now maybe at uh, March uh, 16. Um, I'm going to have to check first. So as uh, soon as I get a date, and I think it's going to be a one-sheet wonder that we're going to do. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm trying to see the comments there. You are so welcome, uh, Jeanne. So all the winner, yeah, uh, send me a memo. That's going to go in the mail tomorrow. And like I said, I like to clean my desk as I go. And guess what? You betcha. I will be live tomorrow. Um, tomorrow um, around lunchtime, I'm going to play with the paper pumpkin and explain more about my PDF. So I'm going to share the paper pumpkin we had uh, this one. It's beyond gorgeous. And I'm going to do a quick card, not from the kit, just an extra card. And again, my PDF for the paper pumpkin, it's not a donated project. So if you're a customer of mine, you receive your um, paper pumpkin, go ahead, do it. Because what you're going to get from me when I combine all the PDF, it's going to be around the 5th. I'm going to say around the 5th before the next one is shipped. Uh, it's going to be uh, ways to use your stamp set to make uh, more cards. So it's not nothing to use the product from your paper pumpkin, only the stamp set. So thank you, thank you, everyone. And I see, sorry, I miss. Um, it's recorded when we're done. It's just take a few minutes and it's going to be back up. Uh, 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 not live, but it's going to be back there. <coughs> Excuse me, talk too much. So have a lovely evening and see you tomorrow around uh, sometime at lunchtime. It's going to be recorded. And also, if you follow me on Facebook or if you don't follow me on Facebook and you are on Facebook, make sure to follow me every Thursday night. I'm the crazy one that go live without anything prepared. I call it Frenchy Create on the fly. And that's why I decide to pick a stamp set and boom, make a card. Sometimes it's wilder, sometimes it's less wild, but it's always a great time. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, my friends. Thanks, Ollie, so much for your hard work.